Oh, oh. Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs Static keeps sending round to coax me. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant, should they need a rise. Are you certain that it works? Uh, not as such. I I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. But one must be the right formula. Let's find some Staric lackeys to target then, shall we? <laughs> Speaking of Staric, he is still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. Well, his company's too well guarded. And the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like opportunity has come knocking. Oh, dear. They never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb onto the roof. Uh, when I see the name of uh, a fruit, Toss one near the thugs. Right then. Oh, uh, oh wait, uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. I think. Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information. Sir. Come again. Your employer's promises are nothing but hot air, and his operations are about to turn pear shaped. Smart Alex got a sense of humor, has he? I'll tickle him till his sides. What you going on about air and pears for? Oh, I don't know, feel rough. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh. <coughs> don't blow me. Oh, kids, eh? Those playful young scamps get everywhere. <laughs> Listen up, Belle, or I'll thump you till your ears are ringing. Ooh, a pun. Your wordplay delights me. And to think I worried you had the mental agility of a dollop of donkey's apples. <laughs> apples? I think he's trying to be funny. Whoa! You dropped a no one, Bill. You little sod. Oh, I ain't me, Bez. Oh, oh, go blind me, it's got me throat. Oh, oh, those rascals throwing stink bombs again. It happens all the time around here. Right, tell us where you keep that. Tell you what's it. I'll count to three. Three? Well, well, let's see how far you get. One. Do you really think I would keep it here? Do you see a cable? A telegraph without a cable is about as useful as a bell without a clapper. I'll give you a bleeding clapper. Well, bless my boots, you're as purple as a plum. <laughs> Ha! Ha! You're in great danger of feeling my fist. 
this, boy. Open that door unless you want a face like a bag of spanners. I swear I'm gonna tell you what's at you from here to doomsday. A plum? Don't be a little woman, Baz. There's some sort of scuffle over there. Good show, Alec. Thanks to you, Evie. Your mere presence gave me courage and resolve I never knew I had. I'm glad I could help. Now it's time to shut down Stark's empire of propaganda. Come on, we haven't got all day. The longer we can keep Staric from spewing out false information, the more we can awaken the people with the truth about his operations. I agree. The sooner we can get there, the quicker we can act. Would you believe my mother says there are still some wives in her street that swear by that suit himself? So I took it upon myself to tell her neighbors the truth about the obnoxious draft. That's good, Alec. But you can't go round to every household in London town. No, I wasn't always welcome. It shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out as fishwives' profanities at Billingsgate. Or vermin at Smithfield. But if we can eradicate the source that continually feeds such detrimental trash, then little by little the truth will take the upper hand and the sham will be flushed out. That's why we're here. We will have to get in without being detected, Mike. I shall stun them while you get inside. I shall destroy not one, but three parts of the transmitter. You'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet without a penny. Calmly. I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. Got you now, girl. Oh, golly gosh. Got you, you little bugger. I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. if you can. I 
say, this is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. Oh, golly gosh, I felt that. My dears, Jacob, Evie, thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. No need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. And besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do drop by. <laughs> uh. <laughs>